Welcome back to the MetLife Halftime Report. Guarantees for the if in life. That is what MetLife is all about. Good basketball game. Certainly has had a nice pace to it. The referees have let the kids play. And it's been a good ball game. And Lafayette in particular shooting the ball exceptionally well. 37-27. The Leopards are up by 10. It is time for our halftime interview. Scott Barr is with one of my favorite people. That's Tammy Smith, the head basketball coach of the Lady Leopards. Here's Scott. Oh, over here indeed with Coach Smith, Gary, and uh, Tammy, you promised yourself you would relax at today's game. I'm interested in, in your take on the men's effort today. I think it's outstanding. I don't get to watch the men play a lot, and uh, I had today uh, to, to spend some time to just come down and enjoy watching the guys play. I think they're doing a great job. They're hitting their shots, and they're doing a great job on the defensive end. So um, I don't relax much when I'm in this gym, so this is a day for me to take advantage of that. The chances that you do get to watch the men play, do you get to take anything from those games and implement them with the women? Uh, you know, I just look to you know what they do offensively, you know, with their their cuts and, and their movement on the offensive end. Uh, defensively, I watch also because I'm a big defensive uh, coach and just how aggressive they are and you know they're pretty much in their faces all the time and um, you know so you know we can't we do do a lot of similar things but you know nothing that's. Um, he Fran does a good job, so that's great to just come down and support him and his, his men. Tammy, your squad coming off a, a performance against perennially a top uh, Ivy League squad uh, in Princeton, a big win for the program. Oh, absolutely. It's it's great to, to beat an Ivy League team, but to do it on the road is, is outstanding. And, you know, uh, we have we had trouble um, in the past, uh, you know, winning games on the road, and, and that was a huge win for us. And, and we were up by 16 points, so it wasn't just, you know, that we squeaked by that. Absolutely not. So it was it was a, a big step for our players, and, you know, we're definitely going to build off of that. And you, in, in the effort, you had to, to stop one player in particular with Princeton, and you did it with a balanced attack from your girls. Yeah, you know, we told them going in that, you know, Cower's going to get her points, so we, you know, we just need to contain everyone else, and that's exactly what we did. She had 32 points, but... You know, we contained everybody else. We didn't allow them to score on the outside like they can because they dribble, penetrate, and kick. And, and we got a good balance effort from, like you said, from from everyone. We had four players in double figures, and we had two uh, two of our players get double doubles with ten rebounds. So, I mean, it was an outstanding effort on their part, and, and I hope, like I said, we'll continue to build on that. That has to be a message that comes through loud and clear to the women as well in having a win like this on the road and something you can build on for the rest of the year. Oh, absolutely. We knew that, you know, our last four games, every game we were close and every game we got closer and closer. And at Columbia, when we played them the, the, the game prior, we just did a lot of little things. Uh, you know, at bad times we made some bad mistakes. But, you know, we, we fixed that at practice. We, you know, talked to them about, you know, time and score and game management, and it definitely paid off in the Princeton game. Yours is a program, Tammy, that has shown flashes of being a very, very good program, and only recently now full games of that. I go back to Holy Cross last year, certainly the Princeton game this year, uh, but it looks perhaps like things are starting to come together. It, it's hard to teach a you know a team how to win, and that was our, our biggest thing. And it, it's it's steps, and the process is taking steps. And the first step is to win at home. And I thought last year we we really turned it around. Come Patriot League, we won you know the majority of our home games. Uh, in the Patriot League season, and, and now we, we had to learn how to win on the road, and, and by us, you know, playing close at Columbia uh, and, and beating Princeton on the road, I think that's going to be a huge step for us, and it shows them that if they decide to play and play together, that they could pretty much, you know, beat everyone either here or on the road, or it doesn't matter where we play them. You took over this program in 2001 and brought a brand new structure uh, to the team, a brand new offense, a brand new defense from longtime fixture Pat Fisher. Is it just that that message is finally getting through? You're, you have your players in place and your system in place? Well, absolutely. I mean, uh, scholarships absolutely help. And, uh, you know, for instance, yesterday, uh, you know, we've been fortunate to get some good quality players in, you know, over my last six years here, and in particular the last four in, in Vandy and Purr and Gomez and, and Mo Johnson being our seniors. But we started two freshmen last, you know, last game last night. We started Lakeisha Wright and Liz Virgin. And, you know, they absolutely help. And, you know, they know coming into this program that they're going to get some good quality minutes and have impact, have an impact on our program. And that's exactly what we're doing right now with, with these young players. And uh, you can't ask for anything more from the returning players as well as the new kids coming in. Well, we'll let you enjoy another half of basketball as a fan. All right, great. Thank you very much. Good luck the rest of the year. Right. Gary, back over to you. We, of course, will rejoin the ladies uh, right after the new year. We'll have them back on and then follow them through the Patriot League 
schedule. All right, we are in the MetLife Halftime Report. When we come